A lion in Egypt? Could it be? Amazingly, indeed, tragically, the answer's yes. Because although the last lion departed Egypt in the late 18th century, in my lifetime, and perhaps yours or your parents, well into the 1950s, there were still lions in North Africa. The Hierakonopolis lion in the Ashmolean Museum is made of Nile silt, but what of real lions in Egypt? They were worshipped, sometimes trained to run alongside the pharaoh's chariot, and they were hunted. Nowadays, lion hunting's a controversial pastime. My team at Oxford's Wildlife Conservation Research Unit was studying the lion nicknamed Cecil when he was illegally hunted in Zimbabwe in July 2015. My guess is that lion hunting wasn't so controversial when, in 3500 BCE, Egyptian figurines showed everyday folk hunting lions with bows and arrows amidst a long-gone fauna of elephants, giraffe, hippos, wildebeest and even African wild dogs. Now take a closer look at Leo Hierakonopoulos, his mightiness emphasised by a mane. You might say, of course, lions always have manes, but they didn't always have manes. You see, until recently, just 10,000 years or so ago, according to the cave artists of the day, not a lion's mane was to be seen. But by the time modern lions were depicted in pre-dynastic Egypt, they had truly enormous manes. Then, as the second dynasty closed, this fulsomely furry feature again disappears from Egyptian lion figures. Indeed, on close inspection, our Hierakonopolis lion's mane seems rather skimpy, and perhaps it is not just artistic license, but an unusually astute portrayal of the modest coiffure of lions of that time. Why the change? Well, members of the lion lineage to which Leo Hierakonopolis belonged grew enormous manes in cool, wet environments and skimpy ones where the climate is hotter. The climate in Egypt changed just about the time of the Hierakonopolis lion, so perhaps he was amongst the generations of lions adapting to climate warming when large manes became a thing of the past for Egyptian lions. Anyway, manes or not, lions have gone from Egypt. Probably that's no surprise to you, but what might surprise you actually I hope it horrifies you, is that while scarcely a century ago 200,000 lions roamed Africa, today closer to just 20,000 remain. If you marvel at the Hierakonopolis lion, surely you will treasure the wild lions that inspired him and add your voice to those calling, indeed roaring, for their conservation. <laughs>